here. I'm with my patient, King Cole. King Cole. We'll call him King Cole. <laughs> King Cole, you got an unusual looking knee, my friend. Now, you're in line, you said you're going to have a knee replacement soon, right? August. Uh, you mind telling us your age? 65. You're 65, okay. And you've been having knee problems for a long time. And you've had to have it drained even once before, right? Just since uh, uh, just since the uh, getting it, does everything finalized for the for the surgery? Yes. Okay, all right. Uh, you called your orthopedic doctor, and they didn't reply. Well, I left a message. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't call you back. Well, they always do that. Well, we're gonna help you out. Well, that's not very nice. <laughs> I don't like it. That they always do that. Uh, so you've got a lot of fluid on this knee uh, to the point where it's your knee joint is actually hot. All right, mm -hmm. that's inflammation. Uh, your knee joint is also tense. The fluid buildup is very tense, yes, yes. and you're tender. Now, now, I do need to find some landmarks here. So here's the patella. It's very difficult to see, but the patella is right in this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and I'm going to make a little mark right where we're going to go in to get the fluid, right here, okay? That's our spot. Okay. And you're okay if we video your procedure for all our friends on YouTube? Sure. All right, I appreciate that. Yeah, a little beta dime, please. We've got the Gumby Jean helping us out Hi, today. Guys. You're our last patient of the morning this Thursday. Yes. You got plans for the weekend? King Cole? This is King Cole, Gumby Jean. King Cole. King Cole. I know you have plans for the weekend. Uh, I got plans, but this, this knee knocks, kicks, kicks me out. Well, we're going to hope that the knee doesn't kick you out. Now, the next part of this I is. I got to work. You got to work? Yeah. We're going to do a little bee sting on you here, okay? okay this okay. is just a little numbing medicine. This isn't the actual spot where we withdraw the fluid, okay? So okay. this is just a little numbing. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's all. And he's, all we're doing, Mike, is... Oh, is oh, didn't mean to use your name, my friend. Well, no, wait. Mike's pretty common. I don't think we'll worry <laughs> about that. We're just raising up a little bleb so that it doesn't hurt when we put the needle in. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we've got a big 60cc syringe, and we're going to see if we can get some fluid off of here. We're okay. just going to insert it. And then we're going to draw back and we're going to start getting this fluid. Now, if you heard a whole bunch, you're going to tell me. So, this is what we would call serosanguinous. Gumby Jean, I may need your help. Okay, what do you need me to do? Well, we may actually get more fluid off of here than this syringe is going to hold. You need another one? And we might need another one. Also, you could kind of massage the knee a little bit and push that fluid up just a little bit. You feeling okay, partner? Mm -hmm. Try to relax. That's the biggest thing here. Sometimes just taking off 30 or 40 cc's of fluid, which actually is quite a bit. Well, they took 40 last time. Did they take 40? Well, we're going to try to beat that, especially since they didn't call you back this time. Now it's already feeling looser. Definitely, look at that. Mm, now, it now, was tight. It was really tight. Okay. You know, I have one of those uh, Cajun injectors for my turkeys. I was going to use that. A Cajun injector? <laughs> I think that those are just turkey basters is what I think is all that is. <laughs> oh, sorry. Gumby Jean's a Cajun, you know. You have to be I know. We, we have to talk be about it. it. Yeah, she's a Cajun. Yeah. So, yeah, now that feels a lot better. So, uh, we've got about 35 cc's, so we got to work a little bit harder. we have, we got to at least match what they got before. There's only 40. Yeah, and you see that fluid is all the way up in there. Sometimes it gets loculated or trapped a little bit. Now we're at 42. Let's get a little bit more out of there. Now they call this thing the meniscal. Well, you, you, my, it, my, you've got... I tore that thing 25 plus years ago. Yeah, you've got severe osteoarthritis. Yes, I, I do. I completely understand that you definitely need to have a knee replacement. All right, Gumby Jean, if you'll get the hemostat, we'll, we'll give... I think you need a little cortisone to make your weekend a lot better. So and it's not going to make your knee any worse. You already know that you to have a replacement so we're not going to make things any no, worse okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, nothing there nothing yeah. there yeah 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 so so anyway a little uh i just gotta get back to work that's the one thing what, what kind of work you do i do pest control pest control okay i should spray mcclendon's old office i think i might spray this one too because it's yeah. been here a while now yeah yeah and, uh, anyway yeah gotta work all right I've got a 200 housing store in Bryan College Station. Is that right? Mm -hmm. All lease homes. Oh, is that right? That's a big job. Um, all right, we're going to come in a little different direction than right there. So I'm going to find our spot over here, Gummy Jean. So I'm going to find you. Now I can actually palpate the patella much better. Okay. So what you want to do, Mike, uh, when you do a knee injection, 
um, you know, preferably we would have gone back into the same spot, is you want to find the tip of the patella, just come and drop down just slightly, either medially or laterally. Now he's got what appears to be a, uh, an osteoarthrosis right here, okay? This feels like a huge calcification to me coming off the tibial plateau. But laterally, it feels pretty good. So when you have a joint that's in this bad a shape, sometimes you gotta be real careful about where you put the injection, okay? I mean, as far as, you always wanna be careful, but I mean, as far as it's a little bit more complicated, we need to use the beta dial. And the reason it's complicated is the anatomy is distorted due to the significant osteoarthritis. Mm -hmm. Should I be taking some kind of a arthritis stuff? At this point, it does not matter. As you can uh, see, my, my, sometimes my wrist will get yeah. like that big. As far as your knee is concerned, you, the knee is lost. You're going to get a new knee. Um, and in taking a daily anti-inflammatory can actually increase your risk of heart disease and heart attack, stroke, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's mm -hmm. tender, huh? Sorry about that, bud. All right, so she's going to spray it, and we're just going to give you a little bit of cortisone in there. Okay, okay. A little stick. Okay. okay. Just try it. We've got to relax that knee. There, just relax. Okay. I think it's just a little bit more scary than it is painful. That didn't hurt, did it? No, sir. All right. I didn't feel a thing. You just jumped a little bit. <laughs> All right. So now we've got some cortisone in there, and that's going to make your weekend better. It's Thursday, but uh, so tonight, about an hour before you go to bed, I'd like you to ice your knee for about 20 minutes, okay? Yeah. Just 20 minutes, ice it up, and uh, you should get a decent night's sleep. Tomorrow, this knee should feel a lot better. Now, some of that fluid's likely to return. Sure, but the, the cortisone yeah. will help kind of slow that process down. Okay. Uh, when the orthopedic doctor calls, tell them you had to get it drained at your primary care doctor's office, and they'll understand. Uh, but tell them you still want to get the knee. Tell them, mm -hmm. tell them you still like them. You just wish they could hold off till August. Well, tell them. Well, that's not I'm that far away. I'm gonna go elsewhere. That's <laughs> well, okay. that's your choice. But thank you for letting us uh, yes, video sir. your procedure. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. King Cole. Do I get any royalties? Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. sure. <laughs> You betcha. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. You betcha. Hey folks, you spoke and we listened. Here's what you had to say about Meta7. I love it so much. It gives me so much energy during the day. I've noticed a change in my hair, my nails, my blood pressure. There's no doubt that it, it's, it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina. And it could actually help you lose weight. Now, I haven't taken a nap in six months. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I used it to help wean myself off caffeine and energy drinks, and my productivity has been very high lately. It's natural, it's amazing. I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day. I've worked 12 hour shifts. Just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great. I love it. And um, take it. It's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description. Are your nails and skin looking dry from the summer heat? Does your hair seem brittle and unhealthy? Well, maybe it's time to check out Coco Skin Plus. Coco Skin Plus is a custom blend designed specifically by Dr. Gilmore to restore your hair's shine, protect your skin from the elements, and make your nails strong and healthy. Let's hear from a few of Dr. G's fans. I started taking Coco Skin Plus about six months ago, and since then I've noticed a huge difference in my skin. It's softer, my hair is softer, and it's grown so long. I don't know if you want to zoom in. My nails have definitely gotten stronger, and finally my hair is actually looking normal. Thanks to this, actually. Now available on Amazon with a dramatic price cut, Coco Skin Plus is only 50 cents a day. So stop waiting, order now, and experience the results you've always wanted. There's an Amazon link in the description.